Hello, this is our third video about making your first facer game. I'm following the tutorial, this tutorial from the facer website, this official tutorial now made by the author of facer, Richard Davy. I recommend you to read this tutorial, all this text here. In this chapter, it explains in details what is going to happen in the game, making the game. So, but what I'm going to do is to make the same thing, but in Phaser Editor 2D. In Phaser Editor 2D, making visual tools uh, for making this more, I think, productive with these visual tools for making the game. In this chapter, world building, uh, it creates the platforms of the same. This platform here, we're going to add the platform to the world. How we add the platform to the world? Here, in this tutorial, from the Phaser tutorial, it uses a static group, it uses the physics system, has an object factory with this object factory of the physics system for making physics objects, Arcadia objects. In this case, it makes a static group. This static group with a static group, the platform's a static group. It used the create method of the group for making the platforms. It uses an static group means a static group mean that means that it will create a static object and a static physics body is a body that never move never moves if you apply the gravity if it if it has a collision with another object it never moves so it is perfect for making platforms for using the physics system first you have to enable it in the configuration in the game and you add it, you enable it in the configuration of the game. So let's start making this with Phaser Editor 2D. I have Phaser Editor here. And first, let's open Visual Studio Code and start our development server. Okay, we have this is our game running here. Let's delete the star. So we can add the platform. The first thing you do is to add a platform. It's just an image. You can look here in the code. It just add a platform image. We are not, I'm not going to use a group here in Phaser Editor 2D. Instead, I will use prefabs. Uh, with a group, you know, Phaser is full of shortcuts. You want to do something in your game, probably Phaser has a shortcut for that, an utility method for that, but uh, our utility method in our shortcut in Phaser Editor 2D are prefabs. With a prefab, you can create an object, a custom type. A prefab is just a custom type for grouping a common of of properties you can use in different objects. It shares with different objects with the same prefab for sharing the same properties. In this case, I will going to make uh, platforms that are going to be uh, instances of the platform prefab. So let's make a prefab here. I click the object. I first like to, I don't like the origin there. Okay, I want to move the origin to the zero position. I want to make a prefab, arcade a prefab, create a prefab object, a platform prefab. Okay, I have, look here, a platform prefab. We created that. We can open it here too open prefab or you can open it here okay we have the prefab here it is like another send 
but instead of generating code for a send, it generates code for a custom object. Look, this is the code of the platform prefab. It's just a class extending an image, an image game object. But if we want all the platform instances, if you look here now, what you have here now is an instance of the platform prefab. You create an instance and you add it to the send. If I add a copy, paste, sorry, copy, paste here and paste here, you have more or less like this one here. Let me check, take a look. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, more or less like that. Mm -hmm. So now if you look in the code, you have multiple instances of the platform prefab. So if you want to make now, I want to make everything here to have a physics body. What I have to do is to enable physics body here in the platform prefab. You have two options. You for enable physics body, you can add a body here. Look, it will it extends an image, but we'll add this image to the physics system, or you can convert type convert replace the type it to arcada probably you will see this like this or you will see this like the an arcade image the arcade image is an special type from the facial physics arcade image it has just a body it is a shortcut another facial shortcut handy class for working with objects with physics body so if you have the code here now all our platforms has physics has physics objects physics bodies look it here now all of them have physics bodies we have to enable here we have to enable here physics in our configuration type you know, default physics arcade and we are going to say that the arcade physics you have a gravity of 300 okay that's all let's watch our game now we have here huh. no platform here i will show you why because it is falling down the platforms, it is because the prefab is using a static, uh, a dynamic body. It is using a dynamic body here. So I want to set it to a static body. And now everybody is there because now everybody has, all platforms has a static body. I missed a platform here. Uh, look, the prefab is shown here in the blocks. You have the image, platform image, but you have the, the, the prefab here. Let's add it here. This is a scale. It has a scale to unlock the scale. It means now I do not want the scale of the prefab. I want to override the scale. I want to unlock change the scale of this particular object of the part of the of this particular platform and we have it there i think it's pretty similar now but let's use something more from prefab i want to make all the platforms with a, a different color i will use the tint i will fill the the object with tint i will make Add some color, no oh, yellow, more no yellow here. Okay, I will make this more green. This is our platform now, and everybody is updated. All platforms, because they are instances of the prefab, 
are getting the new color. If I want to make this with a different color, be darker because it's the ground, I unlock the property, the tint button. I want to make it darker here. Darker here. Okay, that's it. We have now our world. I think this is the this is all for this is all for now. Let's check the code again. We are creating instances. Oh, I don't like these numbers here. What I have to do, this is the position because I made that with the editor. I enable here snapping. I will use one hey a step for the snapping. Let's adjust this a bit here. Forgetting. Okay. Well, now those are integer values. Values. So we are going instead of use instead of using a group for creating objects with physics bodies. Uh, I'm using here a prefab, the platform prefab. Prefabs, uh, the prefabs are a very powerful, a very powerful feature of Phaser Editor 2D. It is, it is a concept you can see in another editors like Unity. Uh, okay, I'm using that too, that name too. So I think many of you are familiar with this concept of prefab. So, see you in the next video. Please like this, follow the channel, and tell me what you think about these videos uh, here in the comments. See you later.